I am live, live, live. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's the day after Saturday and after Sunday. There is Monday. Hmm, that, was a, that was pretty good. That's a pretty good song. Just came up with that on the spot here. I just don't want anyone to be surprised and tomorrow becomes Monday. Do, 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 do. Oh, here's, oh, some people are there. First in, Kego Meshuko. Hello, hello, how are you? So, uh, big show today. Big show, I mean, they're all big shows, but this is especially uh, large and of um, each dimension is very expanded today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the history of Putin. That's the, the subject. I got the I got a picture of glorious Putin right back there for everyone. Oh, Carolyn's here too. Hello, good morning, Carolyn. Do do, do that thing, Putin. Yeah, Putin. Um, so yeah, big show. Hope everyone's doing doing well. Um, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. You probably would have asked. I didn't give you any time to ask. I should not. I, I kind of. I don't. I think I said thanks for asking kind of in a, a little bit of a tone to it. It was inappropriate. Um, it's the morning. Mornings are the earlier part of the day, unless you're a person who stays up all night. Then the morning, maybe a later part of your day. Yeah. Uh, Bob's here. Good. Hey, Bob and Gary. Gary! Just say Gary. Gary? Yeah, just say Gary probably got his name because, you know, how are we going to name this guy? I don't know. Just say Gary. Okay, that's a good name. And they probably thought it was like Welsh or something. Oh, he's just a Gary. Oh, da, 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 just a Gary. Uh, 7 o'clock in BC. Holy. I wouldn't be up to watch me at 7. That's for sure. Do, boo, boo, boo. Hello. Uh, yeah, so big show today. Um, that's the poutine picture up there. I have an agenda, so I think what I'll do, I'll just go to, through my little list that I've made of things I'm going to do, and then at the end, we'll just do whatever songs people want. Uh, it's good to have an agenda. I think you need an agenda in life. Um, you need to be able to know what you're doing and then go, okay, I crossed that off my list. That was on my agenda. Yeah. So people accuse you of having an agenda. You should take it as a compliment because people who are doing that, they're just not organized enough to have their own agenda. That's all. They're just jealous. Just jealous. Uh, what was I going to do today? Oh yeah. Potatoes. So potatoes are related to, uh, to poutine. It's a vital ingredient. We're going to get into the real discussion later. Uh, so I thought I just, I thought I'd, I wanted to find a, a potato song. Um, so I did. Uh, so let's take this, uh, poutine off here and let's put a picture of a potato up. I'm getting so good at this. Oh, that's a nice picture of it. Isn't that a nice picture of a potato? Wow. I spend actually way too much time finding these pictures now. Um, yeah, there it is. Literally, that's a nice potato though. That's a really nice picture of a potato. Isn't that nice? Okay. So, um, as, as we wait for... You know, everyone else, I don't want to get into poutine right away because I think it's really important. I want to make sure I, I'm at peak viewership, like maybe 12 people, you know. It says like we have eight at the moment. Although I found, I've, I've been told that different people have different numbers on their screens, which is weird. Okay, I'm, gonna have, I'm just going to take a little coffee here. Trying to type in ooby dooby. Yeah, potatoes are great. Yeah. So I'm going to play a classic potato song. I'm going to start the day off with a classic potato song. Um, probably... Well, and this guy actually has a couple of potato songs, which is really impressive. Really impressive to have more than one potato song hit. He has at least two. Uh, and, of course, I'm talking about um, Stompin' Tom. Uh, Connors. I'm doing Bud the Spud, his other big potato-based hit. Can anyone guess? Can anyone, anyone remember the other big potato hit? Looks like a Russell, yeah. Hey, Russell. I just call him Russell. Russell the potato. Just say Russell. Uh, does anyone else... Anyone else remember uh, remember the uh, remember the other big hit for Stomp and Tom, potato based? Anyone can type it in there. Or you don't know? Shame on you if you don't know. This is basic stuff that's taught in all Canadian schools now. But uh, okay, you don't know? You don't know? Okay, maybe I'll let you think about it as I sing this song. So we're gonna start off with Stomp and Tom. Uh, Canadians, you will know all the words to this. Americans, you'll be a little confused, but that's okay. Uh, take this as uh, some education for you, some Canadian education. Well, it's Bud the Spud from the bright red mud, rolling down the highway smiling. 
The spuds are big on the back of Bud's Ray. They're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. Now from Charlottetown or from Summerside, they load him down for the big long ride. He jumps in the cab and off he, he lives with a pride of sabagles. He's got to catch the boat to move Tormentine as he heads up that old New Brunswick line through Montreal. He just comes flying with another big load of potatoes. It's Bud the Spud from the ripe red mud, rolling down the highway smiling. The spuds are big on the back of Bud's rig. They're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. Now the Ontario Provincial Police don't think much of Bud. Yeah, the cops have been looking for the son of the gun that's been ripping the tar off the 401. They know the name on the track shines up in the sun. Green Gables, but he hits Toronto and it's 7 o'clock when he backs her up against the terminal dock. And the boys gather around just to hear him talk about another big load of potatoes. It's Bud the Spud from the bright red mud, rolling down the highway smiling. The spuds are big on the back of Bud's rig. They're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. Now I know a lot of people from east to west that like the spuds from the island best because they'll stand up to the hardest test right on the table. So when you see that big truck rolling by, wave your hand or kind of wink your eye because that's Bud the Spud from old PEI with another big lot of potatoes. He's Bud the Spud from the bright red mud rolling up the highway smiling. The spuds are big on the back of Bud's rig from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. They're from Prince Edward Island. There you go, Bud the Spud. Bud the Spud. Do, 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 do. Going back to the see if anyone uh, anyone got the name of the, his other potato hit. He might have even had more. I, these are just the two that come to mind. Stumpin', Stumpin', Tom. Uh, to a hockey game. Yeah, I know, I know the hockey game song too. Nope, nope. Ketchup loves potatoes is the other one I was looking for. I would have taken. As a correct answer. Ketchup loves potatoes. Uh, Prince Edward Island, as you should know, is where they grow a lot of potatoes. Which is probably why he had um, so many potato-based uh, songs. Potatoes are a good base for almost anything. Uh, for poutine uh, and for songwriting as well. Yeah, there we go. How is everyone doing? Yeah, everyone having a good time out there? We're up to 20 people already. This is awesome. That's pretty good. That's awesome. Uh, for all you people joining in, if you haven't followed me, you can follow me. There's some sort of button or something you can press or something. Like, um, something like that anyway. Uh, which would be great. Uh, my name's Trevor, and I'm, um, this is kind of my talk show, except uh, I'm in variety show, but I, I'm kind of like the guy and the guest. Eventually, I'm going to get guests. I've just been really busy the last couple of weeks, so I haven't been able to learn any more tech. I do intend to do interviews uh, with uh, audience members, uh, I don't know, with other people, uh, maybe with my cat, I'm not sure. But that's going to happen eventually. It might not be till the new year when I have time to sort out all the tech. Worms like potatoes. That's true. Worms do like potatoes. Yeah, so I got some cheering for that one. That's good. Oh, mashed potato. And hop it in. Mashed potato, mashed potato. Uh, Wiggles have one. Mashed potato, mashed potato, 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 potato. If anyone had kids 10 years ago, like I did, like little kids. Yeah, that song's drilled in you. Cold spaghetti, salt spaghetti. Cold spaghetti, salt spaghetti. Cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. Spaghetti, 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 spaghetti. Okay, I should get back to my agenda. I'm off my agenda. That's what happens when you get off your agenda. Here we go. What's next on my agenda? I said Bud the Spud. Yeah, did that. I put up my potato slide. Right? Oh, do sing that thing number one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sing that thing number one. I got to get the uh, the thing up here. I forgot to put it up on my screen. Very unprofessional of me, so i got to find where I put it. You guys can amuse yourself as I do some hold music. Open up. Open up, stupid thing. Here it is. Okay, got it. So uh, today I'm doing someone, um, I think it was Anne Riesling. Did I, are you here? I haven't seen you on the chat yet. Are you here? Maybe you're not even here. Anyway, you can watch it later. Uh, N. Riesling, who has been trying to instruct me on how to uh, say the Twitter, I mean the Twitch, Twitch handle properly, uh, has sent um, Cookbook Volume 2. I've got to put it up here on my screen so you can at least see a little bit of it. 
Payday goes off and recipe goes up. Ha! Look at that. Today I put all my pictures organized in the when I'm going to use them. Before I was just importing them randomly and they're all over the place and every time I tried to find something I couldn't. So I'm really up in my skills here. I am really up in my skills. So this is Cookbook Volume 2. Uh, let's take a look here. How can I describe Cookbook Volume 2? There you get up here. It's the other thing. So Cookbook Volume 2 is um, it's an Amish Mennonite cookbook. And this is just the introduction to the cookbook. It's not even a recipe. Anyone have a style I should be uh, doing? Anyone have a style for Cookbook Volume 2? What do you think this kind of song, cookbook, the introduction to Cookbook Volume 2 would be? Jamaican. Is that a style of music? I think is reggae is what you meant, I think. Pafamp, Jamaican music? Jamaican, you're crazy. There's a couple different types of Jamaican music, though, isn't there? I think there was another. There was, um, there was, some, there was one version with a really loud bass. I can't remember what it's called. Polka. I'm going to do polka. I can't quite do rap yet because I need to buy myself a little portable beatbox that I can press the button of and just make it make noise. And I don't have that yet. I'm, if, you know, Christmas gifts... Get me a little like a little beat machine that I can have because I do intend to add rap. I do. Uh, I just haven't, like I said, I haven't had much time. I'm working on my. I got. Uh, I'm still in school, working on my stupid thesis. My stupid dumb thesis. Uh, yeah, and I, I. It was gone for a while, and then I got my notes back, and now I have to do revisions. Oh, anyway, that's what I've been doing. So, well, but I'm gonna. I should have them sent off soon. Okay. Uh, polka. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take some liberties. I think I've been doing this a little bit. I think I so I'm gonna. I guess Cookbook Volume Two is going to be my chorus, so you can all sing along. How should I do it? Cookbook Volume Two. You can all. It should be a hey at the end too, because it's a polka. Hey, hey, hey. Cookbook. Cookbook volume two. Hi, hi, hi. Cooking with, cooking with Ma, Ma oh, it's Marty. Cooking with Marty volume one is now in its seven printing. Has been so well received that we at the budget decided to make another collection called Cookbook volume two. Hi, hi, hi. The budget is the weekly newspaper that is read by the Amish and Mennonites throughout North and South America. Our readers have a tradition of hearty appetites and good cooking. Hence, Cookbook Volume 2. Hey, 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 Cookbook Volume 2. They share their best recipes by sending them to the budget to be published. Volume 1 was made up of recipes published in 1982, 1983, 1984. Volume 3 is a complete new collection of recipes published in 1985, and it's called Cookbook Volume 2. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's cookbook volume two. Uh, so please, uh, people keep on wanting reggae, which is an awesome style, but it's so hard for me to play. It's just so rhythmic, and I'm so not rhythmic. I'm, I'm actually going to practice some reggae songs maybe next week just so I get the vibe of it, and then when next time someone says reggae, I'll actually be able to attempt it. Don't worry about a thing. No, I'm, I'm totally not doing that beat right. It's like the off. About a thing. Because everything is going to be all right. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to practice that. I, I can expand my repertoire of songs. Okay, that was Cookbook Volume 2. So please uh, send me in things to think. Uh, oh, my. That's so hard to say. Why did I choose that as my sings to th uh, things to sing? Things to sing. Things to sing. Things to s yeah. Please send me in uh, things to sing. Uh, you can email me. My email is trebstrong at gmail.com. Uh, uh, you can just uh, find my Facebook, whatever, and send it over there. I don't care. Just send me stuff. Okay. Because uh, I can probably do a couple. Syncopation, syncopation on sing that, that thing. Sing that thing, syncopation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm good at uh, melody. I'm really good at melody. Not so good at rhythm. Not, not a strength. Not a strength of mine. Okay. Hearty appetites. Hearty appetites. So, okay, that's next on my agenda. Sing that thing. So send me your things. I could do multiple things in one show, too. So I can, uh, I just got the one, I think. If you sent me something and I didn't do it, it's because I've misplaced it or forgotten it. So you can just send it to me again. It's not like, 
Not like I'm going, oh my God, they sent me that? I'm not going to do that. No, it's just my, it's my incompetence, basically. Yeah, that's all it is. Most things, you can just blame it on my incompetence. Okay, so that was, uh, so what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to sing a song now. I'm going to sing a song. Uh, uh, not quite an Arrogant Worm song. I've, I've been re rediscovering a whole bunch of songs that I wrote along uh, back when I had my own Patreon thing, and I'm just trying to get them up. So I'm going to, I think this song has never, ever been performed live before. So let's get that recipe off, and let's do this. Oh, it's a song about tigers. <laughs> Sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing it wrong. Okay, so here is a tiger song, because I love tigers, and I've always wanted to have a tiger, and no one has ever got me a tiger. I asked for one every single year, and I never got one, ever. Oh, I got a toy tiger once, and they're like, yeah, you got a toy tiger. It's like, yeah, that's, you know that's not what I wanted. Why did you do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, that's how it goes. What's fluffy and fun and weighs a quarter of a ton? A tiger, a tiger. Who would be a joy while your house he did destroy? A tiger, a tiger. And when he'd had enough, where might you end up? In a tiger, a tiger. I'd really like to have one because they are so sweet. They are super cuddly, but we're all just me. To a tiger There's lots of food that's good In my neighborhood For a tiger A tiger Noisy kids and dogs Would fit nicely in the jaws Of my tiger My tiger And yes I know it's true I could lose a friend or two To my tiger my tiger and in case he wants a snack i'm never gonna turn my back on my tiger my tiger you can have a dog over a hundred pounds and it'll be just fine with you bossing it around just try that with a tiger so I guess that settles that I got me a kitty cat, not a tiger, a tiger. But when he's on my lap, I know he's wishing that he was a tiger, a tiger. Cause I would be unable to kick him off the table if he was a tiger, a tiger. And when I play with my kitty, sometimes he jumps on me like a tiger, a tiger. You may think cats are domestic animals, but they would disagree. They, it's just that they're too small to kill you like a tiger. To eat you like a tiger. There you go. Um, oh, someone, there's a, another cat song. I have numerous cat songs, because uh, I love cats and fear them simultaneously, as one should. Um, have I ever heard of the vestibules? Yes, yes, I have heard of the vestibules. We did a, so uh, we did a show once with the uh, vestibules. I think they were still calling themselves Radio Free Vestibule at the time. Uh, da -da, lots of cat emojis. Uh, yeah, the uh, Tiger King thing, that guy, I thought that was uh, when that came on. I was hoping, um, where does he go? I was hoping it would be a little more, there he is. I was hoping it would be a little more, uh, showing a little more how great it would be for people to own tigers, because cause I've, I've been asking for quite a while, and it's like, oh, there's this show, and this guy's going to own tigers, and then I can show everyone that it's just cool and normal and perfectly fine to want a tiger, because this guy will be on there, and he'll just be some normal guy living a life, a nice life, just with some tigers, you know? And it didn't, it didn't turn out that way as, um, yeah. I mean, but look, look at him. Look how happy he looks in that picture. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, didn't turn out. Didn't turn out. Was, didn't, did not help my cause at all. That's for sure. That's what I got to say. Oh, I got some bits. There we go. Woohoo, bits. Um, oh, yeah. So uh, if you're new to here, you can give me bits. You get bits from, I don't know, the, the, 
the Twitch gods, you buy them, and then you give me bits when I do something extraordinary. Uh, you can also just give me money, straight up, just give me a tip. Go, hey, buddy, nice job. You're trying real hard there. You should do more of this, and uh, here's some, some money to reward you, because I'm basically, you know, busking on the internet here. And to do that, you just do exclamation mark T-I-P, which spells tip. Mm -hmm. I just want to help those who work with, with spelling. Exclamation mark tip. So there's there's the Tiger King dude. Totally harshed my vibe on the whole Tiger thing. Ruined my chances. Ruined my chances. It's terrible. Uh, oh yeah, when does a normal guy make for good television? Well, I don't know. I but that's not what I wanted. I wanted I wanted some help in my cause. Is what I wanted. I didn't want good television. I didn't care about that. I wanted people to get me my freaking tiger. That's what I wanted. You can ask me since I was a kid. <sighs> Anyway, sorry, I'm getting a little upset now because no one's giving me my tiger. Uh, so if you have a spare tiger, you know where to send it. Um, it, it, it oh, back to my agenda. Got to get back to my agenda. I have an agenda. Anyone, uh, how, where do we have people from? Anyone from far away today? Any, uh, I'm in Kingston, Ontario. Uh, Mr. Dressup, Mr. Rogers. You think that's what he looks like? Are you talking about the... Uh, I, sometimes I jump into the stream and I have no idea what's going on. Vanderhoof, yep, still got Vanderhoof. Anyone? Uh, Scotland. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you before, Thistle. Thistle Thorn. Thistle. Thistle. I hope you don't send a, a sing that thing because that'd be impossible to pronounce. Thist Thistle Thorn sent a th sing that thing. Thistle Thorn sent a thing. That's like a tongue. I guess that's impossible. Jesus. Thistle Thorn sent a s sing that thing. Sith oh. Try it. Try it. You try it. It's it's not easy. Thistle Thorn sent a. Sing that thing. <sighs> Brentford. Prince George. Louisiana. Excellent. Excellent. Kent, Washington. Oh, we have a good, good, good. Oh, uh, good. Etobicoke. All the way from exotic Etobicoke. Like how you're hanging on to Etobicoke as if it's still a not Toronto there, David. You're still in the magical. The kingdom of Etobicoke was, was annexed by the forces of Toronto quite a while ago. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, replaced by hurricanes. Jesus. Well, that's, that's terrible. I'm sorry about, sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... I am going to... Uh, oh, sorry, my agenda. I'm off my agenda. Off my agenda. Sh go to my show notes. Uh, did sing that thing. Did, oh, okay. Um, no, let's... I'm going to do that. Oh, should I keep in my order? No, let's go to the history of poutine right now. Let's go to the history of poutine. I think this is... I'm going to skip that next, but I might do it later. But I think, I think it's time that people really... I've been putting this off. Let's take the tiger. Oh, there's the cute widow tigers. They're so much cuter. Take those off. Take those off. And let's get on uh, the next picture of poutine. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Now, that's, that's generally how poutine looks. That first picture I showed you was a bit of a lie. This is generally what you're going to get. Mmm, look at that. Yep. Mmm. Like, you wouldn't know. Like, if you threw that up afterwards, you wouldn't know the difference from before and after. I guess it'd be in smaller pieces, maybe, maybe, but that'd be about it. Yum. Oh, that just looks so wonderful. Ever oh, uh, Singing Breeze in Kingston. Oh, good. I'm in Kingston, Ontario. I could probably just put my head out the door and yell. You might hear me. I'm by the Memorial Center, so I don't know if you're close to there. Uh, singing, singing Bri or Singing Bree? I'm not sure if it's a Bree or a Bri or a Bri. You know, English vowels are very, they're very open to interpretation without context. Uh, okay, so history of poutine, people. Uh, I've got some sources here, uh, so I'm just going to talk a bit. Um, there's a lot of, uh, here, where do I go to? Here we go. I found uh, the Canadian Encyclopedia has an entire uh, section on poutine, as of course it would. Uh, so they say the history of poutine. Uh, Okay, they say a major, a major, uh, major cause of, uh, of the invention of poutine was the, uh, uh, the, the proximity to fromageries. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put an accent on whenever I can to be pretentious. Producing cheese curds in the Centre du Québec was one of the uh, key ingredients. Within that area, there are several towns of families who lay claim to inventing poutine. So this is contentious. This is not a decided thing, folks. This is a, still a hot potato. Uh, Fernand, Fernand La Chance, that's Fernand the Chance of Café Ideal, later renamed Le Lutin Guiri, 
uh, has said that uh, he first added curds to fries at the request of Edilenes, who was a regular customer in 1957. La Chance, the chance, uh, repeatedly replied, uh, reported, I need to repeatedly, reportedly replied, ça va te faire un maudit poutine. Uh, translated as, that will make a damned mess. So poutine, I guess, was mess. Before serving up the concoction in a paper bag. That sounds totally authentic. Uh, the combination became popular with diners. Uh, and they would sometimes add ketchup and vinegar. In 1963, La Chance began to serve the dish on a plate to contain the mess left on his table. So I guess people were coming in and there was just poutine everywhere. And uh, when they complained the fries grew too cold, he doused the fries and curds with a gravy to keep them warm. So we're seeing that this is not, this is not a one-step creation here. There was first, there was first uh, the french fries, and then there was uh, the curds, and then came the gravy. Isn't that fascinating? You would have just thought it was all at once, but no, something like something this complicated, something with so many ingredients, three, there's three ingredients, something, I mean, you just can't come up with that in an afternoon, right? Or a year. No, it takes, it took six years, six years to put all that together. That's amazing. I find that amazing. Uh, in Drummondville, however, Jean-Paul Roy uh, complain, he, can, he claims he invented them at his restaurant, Le Roi Giuseppe, in 1964. Uh, this is, but this is a year later than La Chance's claim. He's been, he'd been serving fries in a special sauce since 1958 in a dish he called patate sauce, <laughs> which is uh, sauce potatoes. I had to translate that for you because you might not have gotten that. Uh, when he noticed uh, customers were adding cheese curds, because he sold them in bags at the snack counter, uh, he added the dish to his menu under the name fromage patate sauce, which is um, potato sauce cheese. A lot of, uh, not a lot of originality with, um, with Jean-Paul here. He's just naming things by the ingredients in them. I guess he'd probably call like chocolate cake, chocolate eggs, flour, baked. That's probably what he'd call it, but in French. Uh, notably, he had to travel to Toronto to find a vendor who could provide containers sturdy enough to hold the mixture. Boy, isn't this fascinating? This is fascinating. Sorry, I'm going to go to the chat to make sure, uh, see if there's any questions or any, anything now. Because uh, I think I've got most of the data out of the way. There's a couple more points I'd like to make, but I'm, I'm going to go back to the stream now. Okay. Uh, where's the best poutine you ever ate? Ah, well, this is a hard question to answer because I find poutine is one of those foods very highly dependent on your state. Uh, and I ate a lot of, coincidentally, I ate a lot of poutine when I was in university and perhaps drinking more. And they were all, every last one of them were the best I'd ever had. But yet I know in the cold light of day, they would look much more like, like this one over here. So they were all the best. Um, although I did have... Just a couple of years ago, uh, I went to a Jamaican restaurant, talking about J Jamaican music, and I had um, uh, jerk chicken poutine, and it was awesome. Like It was like the height of multiculturalism, poutine with jerk chicken. It was so good. It was awesome. So that, that's the best I remember recently. Yeah, six, six years. Yeah, uh, I prefer mozzarella. Mozzarella. Hmm. Where did the name poutine? Uh, well, they've been saying that poutine... Uh, can be translated as mess, mess in uh, French. I don't know if that's official French or whether that's slang for mess. I'm not sure. I, I might need to do further research. One thing I do know is that if you ask, um, if you get it wrong, if instead of asking for poutine, you ask for, hey, could I have a poutine, please? You will get a, a prostitute. Well, not necessarily. Most restaurants don't just have that kind of stuff lying around. But uh, poutine apparently has a very different meaning than poutine. Isn't that interesting? Also interesting. So this, that's trouble you can get yourself into on your first night out in Quebec City. Yeah. So just care. Well, maybe maybe that's kind of trouble you want. Okay. Um, eating this up. Thank you. Thank you, David. Uh, do, do, do. Ha! So uh, someone laughed. I hope that's about something I said. I just looked at it. Um, so there. There's the history of poutine. Not poutine. The history of poutine. Maybe we'll do another week. That'll be a much longer history. Uh, I think uh, with many, many more inventors. Um, is there anything else from this? Um, so mass popular... Oh, and then there goes into mass popularization and all that kind of stuff. Gourmet poutine, which is just stupid. Um, yeah, so there you go. It became Quebec in a bowl. 
Now, I'm just going to, before I move on uh, to the next topic here, I also looked up on, on Wikipedia. Uh, it's a source that us academics use. You might, you probably haven't heard of it, but it's, uh, I write most of my papers. Just, I just look up Wikipedia and just kind of change every other word. Um, and then it's fine, right? And then I wrote it. Uh, so what did they say? They, they were talking about um, the poutine too, but they had a couple of links because they, they noticed that uh, CBC did something about the greatest inventions by Canadians. Um, and, <laughs> and poutine is number 10 of great Canadian inventions. It's um, ahead of the Cobalt 60 cancer treatment. It's ahead of a treatment for cancer. Yeah. Do you know the Canadians also invented, uh, well, you, those top four, you know, five-pin bowling. Five-pin bowling is listed as the, the fourth greatest invention of Canada. We invented the Wonder Bra. That's number five. The Wonder Bra. Why don't we, why does more people know this? That's number five. That's way ahead of curing cancer. Wow. Huh. And the artificial pacemaker is number six behind the Wonder Bra. This is a very curious list is all I'm saying. So you should look this up. This is very, basketball is at 21. Number 21 way past like the bloody caesar which is number there are a lot of drinking bowling yahoos who voted on this list that's all i can say they're also diabetics insulin's number one so that's uh okay so that's that was that that's that yeah. that's a crazy list well, you're a wonder wonder woman velcro do we do velcro the zipper yeah zipper's number eight zipper is number eight on the list so it's two ahead of poutine mm -hmm. interesting very interesting uh so that's what i just wandered down a couple of rabbit holes and where's the i have one other one I ran into. Where was that one? Okay, and then they also said there was a list of the national foods of Canada, that there was a poll done, and number one was poutine with 51%, a majority. We don't ever get a government with 51% support, so this is big. And then it was like the, what you'd expect, uh, Montreal-style bagels, salmon jerky, what? Pierogies, I don't think we invented pierogies. Ketchup chips, number five? Come on, that should be number two. The Nova Scotia Donaire, number six, and then number seven, on the list of Canadian foods is the California roll. The California roll. Ah. Uh, I don't know. And, and, yeah. And where's butter tarts on that list? I just, I don't understand that list. California roll. Is that Canadian? Did we make, I don't think, I don't think that's, any Americans, you have California rolls down there? Or did we just, anyway. So much. So, so many avenues open with this discussion today. Uh, the Nanana Barber should also be there. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, the zipper. I don't know if we did Velcro either. Uh, so any more discussion about this? This is, it opens up a lot of stuff. It opens up a lot of stuff. So what are we learning? Is Canada's awesome? Yeah, well, that's every, every day that I do a show. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm an example of Canadian awesomeness, except for this shirt. I'm just having trouble. I was trying to go for, um, from a, for a look here of, you know, trying a bit, but not trying too much. So I got a collared shirt, but didn't button it up. But instead the collar is just like, Rock is just going everywhere. It just looks, it's like the, I look like the poutine of shirts, really. It's just, anyway, I'm off topic again. This is not on my agenda. Um, it's, it is Canadian. Is it Canadian? I don't know. I don't know. You had poutine last night. Good for you. Singing breath. Singing brr. Uh, ginger beef. Yep. Could be your detergent. Yeah, I don't, it's not ring around the collar if that's where you're getting at. I, di I didn't get that horrible disease. I had that once. I was in the hospital for like a month with ring around the collar. Yeah, at, at the time there was no cure. They hadn't they hadn't made the right sort of cl cl cleaner at the time. So, oh my God, ring around the collar. Uh, younger people, you might not know what the hell I'm talking about. Talk about an old ad campaign for some detergent. Uh, oh, and you've got a list here of the only the only eleven Canadian foods you'll ever need to eat. Great, good. Could be my detergent. Okay, well. Any more questions, uh, queries, discussions, ponderings about poutine? Anyone? Uh, yeah, ad for whisk, okay. Oh, California rolls are actually from Canada and our minds are blown. Wow. Huh. Well, I, sorry, you just watched my mind also get blown. I was, huh, really? This is very high. I'm learning. We're all learning here. And I think that's the important thing. That is uh, Smokes Poutine. I, I haven't been to Smokes. There is one just like three blocks from me, and I've never been to it. I keep on meaning to, but I'm just not drunk enough anymore, I think is the problem. Yeah. That's the, you know. Um, wow. California rolls. Here to, well, whew, 
Too much. Okay, I'm going to sing a song about poutine, which I wrote. Uh, and it's called Poutine. This was uh, Arrogant Worm's Patreon song. Do, 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 do. So we probably haven't heard it. It's not on any of the albums, but you can find it on our Patreon page, the Arrogant Worm's Patreon page. I think it's also on our Bandcamp page. I think, yeah. It's a little sad. I've been out too late. Oh, you're good. Got to get the, the vibe. I've been out too late, and I drank too much, it's true. But I really need you now, so I'm searching for you. I stumble through the late night streets with an emptiness inside. Hungry for all that you provide. Poutine, poutine, fill the hole in me with cheese, curds, and gravy. Poutine, let your gravy clots cover my lips as cheese curds slide down my esophagus and your soggy fries congeal into a lump of heaven. Poutine. Routine. You're my better half. Sometimes you give me gas. Poutine, poutine. You're a heart attack, but I keep on coming back in the cover of the night. Cause I know that it ain't right. Can't keep my hands off you and your tasty, tasty goo. But when it's you and me, I am so happy. Gonna make you. A part of me, Poutine. Oh, there's a beautiful song from the heart. That one's really from the heart. Well, actually, it's from the, from the gut and further down, actually. So thank you. That was our subject for today. That, I think that was a good one. I think that was a really good one. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this um, poll thing to work again. And I got it to work last week. Here we go. Let me go over here. Okay, so uh, if you have any um, suggestions for next week's topic, we're going to put them down and we're going to vote i'm going to have a new poll it's going to be uh wh what's the topic um topic okay hard to type with a guitar okay anyone have any uh, suggestions for next week's topic uh hard one yeah we're not trying to talk but this isn't about topic this is about education here this is about knowledge and learning and growing as people maybe not physically unless you're still young or you can get some your hands on some human growth hormone uh, you guys are talking about I'm going to put Haggis and people are talking about Haggis we can talk about Haggis I'm totally I have no idea about Haggis I'm just going to put it in to start this list going butter tarts raisins or not okay butter tarts okay we, we can keep on going the food scene we don't have to though you guys are very uh, you You must be hungry did you guys not eat breakfast butter tarts I'll have butter tarts they don't you know butter tarts okay but I just put in butter tats that's not appropriate butter tarts here we go uh Curling, that's a good one. Curling, excellent. Curling, curling's a very good topic. I have room for two more in the poll. Weird Canadian cults. I don't even know where that would lead, but yes. Yes, of course. Weird Canadian cults. Wow, like the, the worshippers of Bob and Doug, maybe. Uh, Nanaimo bars. Well, you guys just will knock it off the food, but that's all right. That's all right. We can do food. Nanaimo bars. Okay, I'm going to start the poll here. Uh, you can vote. You can also use your bits to change the to, to cheat, and you can use channel points. Apparently, if what I still haven't properly set those up, but apparently you're getting them, so you, you can use those. I'm starting the poll. Hopefully, this works again, and uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, and we'll uh, hopefully hopefully have a, a good, clean, fair vote. At the end of the vote, if you're not happy with it, you can lawyer up, and you can um, 
you can uh, uh, approach the prop proper courts, uh, release the Kraken, whatever you're, whatever you're up for. All that's available for you. You can, you know, always challenge it uh, using the proper channels, of course. Uh, I'm sure most of you have already have your own lawyer standing by, so. What's the topic? That is the question. That's the question. It's pretty much the same question. Last week I asked, what topic? And I stretched that a little bit. What's the topic? I think that's a little better, hey? A little, a little richer. God, I think I set this for too long. This is a lot of time for me just to kind of sit here and talk. Do, 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 do. Almost done. We're almost there. Almost there, people. Almost done. Almost. Here it comes. And we're done. Weird Canadian cults. Okay, there it is. Weird Canadian cults. Okay, that, I've, I'm definitely going to learn because I don't know anything about weird Canadian cults. Uh, so this that's really good. Uh, well, curling probably actually can be under weird Canadian cults. It's probably a related a related theme. Good. Okay, well, that's the, uh, the next week's topic, everyone, is weird Canadian cults. Uh, thank you for voting. It was overwhelming. 50, 52%. Can I get the, uh, uh, I want to review the full results here. Uh, what is, what, what were the full results? Haggis was number two. Oh, pretty close. 38%. And curling was, uh, number three. Oh, we can always, these can always be topics of, a, of another time. Okay. Good, good work, everybody. I'm going back to my list now, my agenda. Okay, so we got that done. We got the, uh, show notes, show notes. Here we go. Uh, so we did that. We did that. History of Poutine. Vote for next week. Poutine song. Oh, fairy tale time. Time for a fairy tale. Okay. We're gonna do I'm gonna read you guys a story now. Um read you a story. Read you a story. I wish I, I mean it's really hard running a show all by yourself. There's so many things I have to do here. Oh, did someone give me some bits? Yay! Give me some bits. I want your bits. I love saying bits. There we go. Story time. Story time, everyone. Story time. Oh, my story time, I'm gonna move my. Do I use story time? There it is. I'm gonna move that a bit. There we go. There we are. That looks better. That looks better. Okay, story time, everyone. Uh, I'm just gonna go through my book, Very Grim Fairy Tales in Order. Here's the book. Ow! I just dropped the book. God. Ah, because I'm so good at it. So good at it. Uh, did I, I already read the second one. Did I read the third? I read the third one. Okay, I'm gonna read this one. Read this one. This is the uh, three best men. If you can kind of see that. Why is it going? Oh, so if I do that, it changes my whole color key and it messes up my back. Look at that. See that? Sorry. Uh, SCP uh, SCTV reference there for whoever wanted one. Okay, here we go. The three best men. This, one, this, this one's called The Three Best Men. Once upon a time, there were... F yeah, that was a terrible start. I'm going to start that over. i got to get into my song. Okay, hey, somebody gave me bits for screwing up. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You're rewarding the wrong, wrong type of behavior. It's kind of like the whole Arrogant Worms career. People kept on booking us, even though we're big screw-ups. It's like, oh, I guess we don't have to practice, is what we learned from that. The Three Best Men. Once upon a time, three friends went out hunting. As the day was nearing its end, they spotted a bear caught in a trap. This will be an easy kill, they thought, but just as they were about to shoot, the bear spoke. Free me, it said, and I will make each of you the best in the world at anything you desire. The three men talked it over, and although the bear's promise seemed ridiculous, it was, after all, a talking bear. They removed the trap. Thank you very much, said the bear. Now tell me, what is it you want to be best at? I want to be the best warrior in the world, said the first man. And so you are, said the bear. I want to be the smartest man on earth, said the second man. And so you are, said the bear. I want to make the best pies anywhere, said the third man. And so you shall, said the bear. You can be the best at anything and you want to make pies, said the first man laughing. Ha ha ha! You are an idiot, and I say this with some authority, seeing as I am now the smartest man on earth, said the second man with a derisive snort. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I panicked, said the third man. Oh, Mr. Bear, I'd like to change my wish. But the bear was gone. 
And so the three men went into the world to see what fortune would bring them. The best warrior in the world joined the royal army and rose quickly through the ranks. Soon he was first among the king's generals. Songs were sung of his exploits and people applauded him as he walked by. He married the king's first daughter and lived in the castle. The smartest man on earth went to university, learned more than everyone else combined, and became professor of everything. The king appointed him as his advisor and gave him a room beside his own so that he would always be, ne be nearby. He received many awards, and parents named their children after him in hopes that they too would be gifted. He married the king's second daughter. The man who makes the best pies anywhere also ended up in the king's castle. The royal cook heard of his skills and hired him for the kitchen. He worked 14 hours a day and never met the king. He married the daughter of a chambermaid. All was well until one day the kingdom was attacked by barbarians. At first it seemed the king's men would defeat them. The best warrior in the world slew them by the hundreds. The smartest men on earth invented brilliant strategies that took them by surprise. And the man who makes the best pies anywhere made pies. But there were simply too many barbarians. Soon the king was besieged in his own castle with only his loyal servants by his side. The barbarian horde swarmed over the ramparts, and their chief strode into the castle to punish its defenders. First I will kill the king, said the chief, and he did. Now bring the rest before me, they were. Who are you, said the chief to the first man. I am the best warrior in the world. You have killed many of my men, and one of my sons, for that you shall die. And he was killed. And who are you? said the chief to the second man. I am the smartest man in the world. By your evil stratagems, many of my people were murdered. For that, you shall die. And he too was killed. And who might you be? said the chief to the third man. I am the man who makes the best pies anywhere. I haven't heard of you. I don't get out much, but my pies speak for themselves. Do they? Well then, we shall taste these pies, and then you will die. Two barbarians ran to the kitchen and quickly returned bearing pies. The chief's personal food taster took a slice and tasted. Mmm, delicious, said the taster. After waiting a second to make sure he wasn't poisoned, the chief took a piece for himself. He bit into it. He chewed. This is fantastic, he said, his grim warrior's jaw relaxing for the first time in years. Everyone, have some pie. And so the pies were passed around, and everyone agreed that they were indeed wonderful, and wouldn't it be a shame to kill a man who could make such good pastry, and who, after all, had done no harm to them? So the man who makes the best pies anywhere was allowed to live, and spent the rest of his life baking pies for the barbarians, who, it must be said, treating, treated him with more respect than he'd ever received before. For barbarians appreciate a good pie. The end. There we go. That was the uh, the three. Uh, what was that? Forgot the name of the story there. But uh, the three best men. A very grim fairy tales, available from only my basement. I think it's online too somewhere. You can get the online version off my web my terrible website. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. So uh, hi. We're moving along today. Uh, oh, I was going to do uh, another song. Another song. Hope everyone's hanging in there. Yeah, you do need it. Well, like I said, it, it's uh, if you go to my trevorstrong.org website, which I don't really want people to go to because I haven't updated it in eons, and it's it's, it's just a mess. Uh, I think it, it's still up there as a free PDF download, which I, I intend to change, but I'm not going to get to it till the new year. So you're welcome just to go and do that, right? Yeah, you can just go do that. Just go get it. Just go take the book. So that was story time. Um, do, 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 yeah, I've got a bunch more of those. I actually have almost another... i got, got ideas for almost another book ready, so, but I just haven't found the time to write it yet. Um, or make it or print it. All those things. So much work to do things. Doing things is work. Against it. Totally against it. Uh, I'm going to sing a new song. I don't know. Oh, did I get a picture for this song? I think I did. Oh, I did. There we go. Got to turn that one off. There we go. Um, once again, going through uh, a bunch of songs uh, that I that I used to do when I had my own Patreon thing, and this is another one. I'm going to try this one out. This is another world debut. No one has ever heard this song performed live, except for me, because I performed it myself to myself when I was learning it. Um, but for me, it's not much of a treat for me, actually, to be honest. 
Uh, I hear myself play all the time. Lyrics, me, comedy. Here we go. Uh, and this one's uh, this one is still appropriate to me because it's about it's about education, and I'm uh, still getting educated. Um, I took stay in school very literally, very literally, too literally, I think. Da, 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 da. Okay. A lot of you, uh, some of you might be able to relate to this. My college days were great. I made a lot of friends. But there was this one guy who I really did depend on. I never could have made it through if I'd been on my own. But there to lend a helping hand was my student loan. We went everywhere together. He gave so freely. Books, tuition, pizza, beer, thought he just cared for me. I was up on stage with everyone on graduation day. Now everybody else is gone, but my loan won't go away. Yeah, he's always reminding me of the good old days and how those days are dead and gone and now it's time to pay. Working at three crappy jobs, living in my parents' home. It's just me and my mom and dad and my student loan. After I graduated, he got really controlling, sent letters, emails, followed me, and told me that I owed him. I sat a little time apart, maybe would be best, but all that seemed to do to him was compound his interest. Yeah, he's always reminding me of the good old days And how those days are dead and gone and now it's time to pay Working at three crappy jobs, living in my parents' home Just me and my mom and dad and my student loan How I wish I'd never met him my life would be better, man, if I'd learned to put up drywall or bought a hot dog stand. At least I know that when I die, I shall not go alone. My grave will say, here lies some guy and his student loan. Yeah, he's always reminding me of the good old days and how those days are dead and gone and now it's time to pay. Working at three crappy jobs, living in my parents' home. Just me and my mom and dad And my student loan There we go, student loan. Yeah, that one's not so bad. I don't mind that one. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I got some, I uh, got a little bit of cheer there. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Peppermint Biscuit and Jenna Hurt. And, uh, and uh, David, yeah, David, that's great. Uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, I forgot about the, my, my one line that I was really proud of. Uh, a little time apart maybe would be the best, but all that seemed to do was compound his interest. Ah! Oh, I made an interest joke. So proud of myself when I wrote that. I just, yeah, it's like, ah, compound interest. That's awesome. Good for me. Uh, yeah, interesting song. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It really grows on you, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, am I almost done my list of things to do? I think I'm almost done my my agenda. Let me take go back to my show notes. Oh yeah, I'm almost done. So uh, let's do. Boop. That goes away. And then let's put uh, let's put this puppy up. Questions. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. So we can have question time. If anyone has any questions for me, queries, just chatting around. <laughs> Uh, you want to go back to the discussion on poutine? That's fine too. Um, oh, I can do. Yeah, I, I forgot. Yeah, I will do a poem. Let's have some questions, and then I'll do a poem, and then we'll just uh, do a couple of songs. How about that? Terrell, morning. Good morning. How are you, uh, Terrell or Terrelle? Terrelle. 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 Uh, yes. Good morning to you as well. Ah, uh, yeah. I forgot my poem. I'm going to do a poem. When does it end? Okay, when does the show end? When does life end? When does the universe end? There uh, might need to be more specific. Um, I don't know. Does it end? Does it all go on? Has it even begun? Like maybe, maybe it hasn't begun. Maybe we're just like the credits at the start of something. And the real thing's about to go. We're just filler. We're just filler. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? How about that's for some metaphysics for you? What's your favorite Muppets song? 
Ooh, why? I don't know. I'd have to... Uh, I mean, I really like... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I really like that. Or I like the rainbow connection. Uh, easy being green. But you know what? Right, when you get right down to it, as a songwriter, I find it is hard to beat. As a piece of art, the lyrics to C is for cookie. Because that, I mean, it gets to the heart of the song and it doesn't waste lyrics on anything. It, C is for cookie. Okay, we've established C is for cookie. And what does this mean, though? What are we supposed to take from that? That's good enough for me. Oh, okay. What else do we need to know about C is for cookie? C is for cookie. Okay. That's good enough for me. Oh, okay. C is for cookie. Mm -hmm. Some more information. Good enough for me. Great. Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Oh, a bit of a twist at the end. I wasn't expecting Huh, so it's both good enough for you, and it starts with C. Huh, but I mean, like, that's all you need in that cookie. Cookie, see, no, I'm saying cookie, that song. No, everything should, everything's, everything's cookies now for me. Oh, all the cookies. Yeah, so maybe C, uh, C is for cookie. Uh, that's also a good Muppet song. I mean, I know it's from Sesame Street, but they're all, they're all related, right? Those guys, they, they hung out after work and stuff. Yeah. C is for cookie. That's a good question, though. Good question. Uh, maybe I should do a show at the Restaurant Theater of the Universe. Yes, that would be a good idea. Uh, deep song idea. Any more questions as I have this up? It's just a little t chance to chat. If anyone has a query, I've been bothering them. It doesn't have to be about me. I could answer bigger problems, so I can answer almost anything. Uh, yeah, still Muppets? Okay, good. So you're not, you're not drawing the line between Muppets. Uh, put Down the Ducky is another good um, Sesame Street song. You gotta put down the ducky. You gotta put down the ducky. You gotta put down the ducky if you wanna play the saxophone. That's a good one, too. Uh, a lot of the ones on the Muppet shows were like uh, guest singers coming in and doing their hits with the Muppets, too, and I liked all those as well. Uh, what's the most divey place? Uh, I gave a bit of the story about playing Gertz. I can't remember which stream that was on. That was pretty divey. Uh, when we started out, we played a lot. Uh, we just did the campus circuit. And a lot of times that was really horrific because we would often uh, be booked for like a uh, party drinking night and we're a comedy group. So um, it was pretty hard. Like, so uh, those are all pretty divey, sketchy places we did. Uh, I don't think we played any dives too recently, fortunately. Um, why is it so hard to find cherry Coke in restaurants? Well, that's obviously it's part of a greater conspiracy. Uh, the powers that be are slowly taking away all of our choice, all of our rights, all of our privileges, and they, it started with Cherry Coke. And that was to see if, there, if the people would gather together and rise up against it, and they didn't. We failed. We let them take the Cherry Coke. We just let that happen. We let that happen. And now, one by one, they're taking away everything. Yeah, yeah. All we're going to have uh, left at the end is um, Fanta. Yeah, a bit of a turn at the end. Uh, but that's why. It's, it's, it's bigger than you think. It's a whole thing. Cherry Coke. Probably one of those Canadian cults is based around it. Yeah. Any more, uh, any more questions? Do, do, do. I don't want to live on the moon. Uh, I don't know. If I'm an animal. Oh, I'd be, a, I'd, be a cat. I'd be a tiger. Then I'd finally get my freaking tiger. If I had to turn into the tiger myself. That's how is that if that's what's necessary that if I need to turn into a tiger to get my freaking tiger then I'll do that I'll do, I just sit around I just look at myself all day in the mirror going hey I'm a tiger look at me I'm a tiger T is for tiger and that's what I want to be T is for tiger that's what I want to be T is for tiger that's what I want to be tiger 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 starts with T yeah that's a very flexible song structure hm. yeah Ernie, I don't want to live on the... Oh, I think I've heard that one. I'd have to look that one up. Diet Pepsi, you're right. That would be a better... Yeah, Bob, you probably saw that I was flailing around. I got such a good setup, and then I couldn't think of how to close it. Diet Pepsi would have been funnier. Everyone, go back to that thing I was doing about the thing and what you're... And put in Diet Pepsi. Okay? Just change that. It's a bigger it, It's a bigger laugh. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, but we got a pun in. from Skadoo 22. That's excellent. Okay. Mm, Fanta. Okay, I'm going to read uh, one poem. If another question comes to mind uh, as I'm doing this, that's fine. Um, 
What is this one? Uh, boy, I, I don't remember writing any of these. Okay, I'm just going to, I don't care. Okay, I don't even know what this is about. Hopefully I didn't write anything too crazy here. I'm just going to start reading it. Oh, no, no, I kind of remember this next one. Oh, yeah, I'm going to read this one. Okay, this, this should clear out the room right here. Okay, I kind of remember this one. <clears throat> so here's a, I got to, oh, I got to get my poem back drop on. Make this official. Uh, there we go. Poetry, everyone. Okay, I'm just going to do one poem today. Uh, Soft Top. That's the title. Soft Top. Babies. What are they exactly? And why do folks lie about them so much? People pretend they are cute and fun, but they are not. They are jumbles of proto-human, a loose assemblage of parts that will one day function, but currently lay flaccid or worse, ooze. We make cute noises at them, like they are little animals or foreigners who don't speak the language. And they just flop and twitch and make noise and stuff comes out of their orifices, of which they have many more than you would think. And they don't even have a full skull. They have a soft part on top, just like the hole in the ozone layer, an inexplicable gap in their armor. How did this come about? How did pri primitive humans protect their babies from skydiving ravens or evil, jumpy, carnivorous tree monkeys? This is where my mind goes. Okay, my brain doesn't always work that well, but at least it is fully protected by my skull, unlike those stupid, marshmallow-headed babies. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, my brain is totally broken. Totally broken. I don't want... So those, uh, yeah, so there was, uh, there you go. Babies. 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 Uh, I think that's it for my agenda. So, uh, you can ask, uh, so wait a second, I got another, I'm going to put my closing slide up here. Where's the, where's the question slide? I got to get that one there. God, I need an assistant. I need an assistant. Here we go. Let's put... Yeah, let's get rid of that. There we go. There. Hey, happy people. Happy people, because they're so happy that they got to see this show. That's what that is. So that'll be my generic background slide now. Um, so, uh, so I'll just sing a couple of songs if anyone wants to hear some songs. I don't have my song list open yet, but uh, I, I'll find it right now. So you can request songs on the song list by doing exclamation mark. Well, I'm going to put it in here because then I can press the list, and then I can go to the song list. Song list. Uh, there we go. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work, did it? Crap. What did that, where did that work? Did I type it wrong? Spammer or ch spammer on channel? Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll, I'll just find the song list on my own. So there's a song list out there. Exclamation mark song list should work. If it doesn't work, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'll just have to find it a different way. Or you can just request, actually, you can just rest, request a song. Oh, I didn't learn, I haven't learned the Black Fly song yet. I'm, I'm just going to find the lyrics and see if I can remember how it goes. Um, Black Fly song. Black Fly. Black Fly song lyrics. Let's take a look. Okay, maybe if I hear it for a second. Black Fly song. Let's see if it pops up here. Oh, I've got to go through a Google ad first. Uh, and you want to be famous? Yes, yeah, I want to be famous. I want to, yeah, I want followers and viewers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I want all that. Give me my follow. I want to be famous. Hey, somebody on the stream is going to make me famous. There we go. Oh, no, I, I won't be able to. I won't be able to fake that one. Sorry. I'll have to try to learn it again. I told you I didn't. I just didn't have much time. I didn't have much time. Uh, I didn't have much time. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
We are going to list. Yeah, so is, is the song list not working? The song, uh, anyway, just request a song in the chat, and I can do that. Uh, also, uh, this show is supported by viewers like you. I just saw PBS, a PBS documentary the other day, and they did this thing where they go, this show is uh, supported by viewers like you. And that's literally true here, because this is like microcasting. Microcasting. So uh, if you like the show and you actually have like, some spare cash, you're welcome to pass that along to me. Uh, if you don't have any cash, then don't worry about it. Or if you just only sort of like the show, that's also fine. So you can do exclamation mark tip, or you can just give me some cheer, and that would be awesome. Uh, okay. Did anyone uh, don't go to politics? Let's do that one. Yeah, ba -da -ba -ba. Don't go. I'm going to do don't go to politics. Do, 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 do. This is a big, it was never a big hit. It was a moderate, uh, moderate sensation when we did it. It's one of our older songs, though. One of the... One of the early, early, early worm songs. I wrote this one with John. It's good advice, though. Stood the test of time. George Washington was the president, but now he's dead. Mackenzie King was prime minister, but now he's dead. So don't go into politics, you'll end up dead. Don't go into politics, you'll end up dead. Oppenheimer built the bomb, but now he's dead. Uh, Einstein was really, really smart, but not enough not to be dead. So don't go into science, you'll end up dead. Don't go into science, you'll end up dead. Don't go into politics, you'll end up dead. Don't go into politics, you'll end up dead. Jimmy Henry, Janice Joplin, Brian Jones, Keith Moon, Jim Morrison, Roy Orbison, John Leonard, Bob Marley, Leonard Bernstein, Elvis Presley. We're not too sure about Elvis, but I think you get the point. Don't go into music, you'll end up dead. Don't go into music, you'll end up dead. And don't go into science, you'll end up dead. Don't go into politics, you'll end up dead. Break it down, you'll be burned, you'll be fried, you'll be buried alive. And there's no thinking you're going to survive, cause there's cancer from smoking and drowning and choking. Smothered while sleeping, blood will start seeping. So I found you'll end up in the ground, and you'll be dead. So I found you'll end up in the ground. I wish there was an option instead, but you'll be dead, dead. Maybe with a bullet in your head, you will be dead, dead, very, 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 very. Thank you. That was Don't Go to Politics. Oh, Torelli. Torelli has uh, given me a donation. Oh, and then Matt Larderin gives me a big cheer. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Muchly appreciated. Because uh, uh, I, I run on your donations. That's basically how this whole thing works. Works. Uh, it's like a terrible charity is what I am. I've become a terrible charity. Yeah. Uh, I can do another song if somebody wants another song. I think I can probably do two more songs today. If anyone wants another song. Uh, was the song list thing not working, or did I just not type it in right? Because if it's not working, then it's... Oh, I just don't understand why things sometimes work and sometimes don't. I think... Well, I do understand. I'm screwing things up is what's going on here. Did that work when I put that in? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, the song list went up. If you want to see the songs, but if you want to request it, just put it in the chat because I don't have the song list open at the moment. So just put it right in the chat. Uh, I hope you all had a good time today. Um, hope things are going well with you. Uh, that you got all your Christmas uh, shopping uh, started or done. Or maybe just not bothered with. Maybe you just didn't bother this year. Like, why would you bother this year? It's called technology. Huh, is that what it's called? Technology. Technology. Technology, yeah, um, yeah, technology changes all the time. Like, uh, originally I was doing this, but on a street buskin. But now I'm doing it in my backyard, in, a, in the coach house. Going hunting, yeah, I can do going hunting, I can do that song. Uh, I can do, oh, I didn't put the, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, Janet Hart, thank you very much. Thank you, much appreciated, Janet Hart. Uh, da 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 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, go on hunting, arrogant worms. Uh, yeah, so going hunting, it's, um, if you've seen my streams before, I think I've mentioned this, I wrote to go and hunting before I knew how to play guitar. Uh, yeah, it's a true story. Isn't that weird? Before, uh, and then uh, I thought, oh man, this sounds like a really complicated song. When man. Uh, it's actually just two chords, same two chords over and over again. This is good if you want to start to learn to play arrogant worm songs. It's... That's the entire song. Entire song. A and E. A and E. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it's like it's like my uh, C is for cookie. It's simplicity. Simplicity, except that there's a million words in this. I like C is uh, for cookie. Okay, here we go. Sing along if you know the words. Well, me and my buddy's got some beer and a great big bottle of rye. And box of ammo, guns go with an ain't good old tries last eye. We look all around, sees all our nature so calm and so serene. Not for long, gonna use guns to make furry animals scream. We're going hunting, gonna kill something, I don't care what it is. Maybe a raccoon, maybe a gopher, maybe the neighbor's cage. We're going hunting, gonna kill something, I don't care what it is. Maybe a raccoon, maybe a gopher, maybe we go to guns are loaded and so are we we weaves in the bushes falls on our faces and piss on the nice trees and then we see something moving and rustling we pump it full of lead we smile real wide it's as it falls down dead oh, i lost my pick going hot and gonna kill something i don't care what it is maybe a raccoon maybe a gopher maybe the neighbor's kids we're going hot and gonna kill something i don't care what it is maybe a raccoon maybe a gopher maybe the neighbor's kids well off we go to see what we killed and watch the damn thing the first thing we see is a bright orange cap We shot down Lord Charlie He don't seem to mind He smiled all the time He died real happy But next time he should tell us When's going off to take a pee Cause we're going hot and gonna yell something I don't care what it is Maybe a raccoon Maybe a gopher Maybe the neighbor's cave Going hot and gonna kill something I don't care what it is Maybe a raccoon Maybe a gopher Maybe the neighbor's cave When the sun goes down We head back to town Hop in our pickup truck Straight up truck to the hood Start up the engine Try it home with any luck. Well, what you know, we run into a pole, but we're all still in one piece. And we get a free ride back into town courtesy of the police. Everybody. Cause we're going hunting, going kill something, I don't care what it is. Maybe a raccoon, maybe a gopher, maybe the neighbor's gay. There you go. There you go. I was going hunting. I was going hunting. That's a song I wrote a long, long time ago. Probably, probably over, probably 30 years ago. I'm, I'm going to call this the 30th anniversary of that song. I have no idea what time of year I wrote it, but I'm just going to declare that. So you got to hear the 30th anniversary edition of Going Hunting. Wasn't that awesome? Oh, Jen, give me some cheer. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Jen. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, most people are done their Christmas shopping. Baking. Oh, baking. We have to do baking next. Yeah. Right. Right. Cause we're... Oh, good people singing along. Thank you for singing along. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do one more song. If someone types one in and I feel like doing it, then that's what's going to happen. I do apologize for not learning the Black Fly song. I did say I was going to do that, but, you know... Um, yeah, you just got to learn not to trust me so much, I guess. Yeah, yeah, see how I, I'm not, see how I, I did that? I try to put it on you. Yeah. Where's this? There's that country. That's what you get for loving me. One of those type of songs. Here's what you get. Oh, who's that? Who did that one? Yeah. Why is that in my head? I think I saw someone sing at karaoke back when you were allowed to do karaoke. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm not going to do Everyone Had a Gun because it's pretty much the same song as Going Hunting. So uh, I, I, I will do that. I've done that one before. I've done that one before. Do I know the steak? Oh, the steak. Yes, they call him the steak. Woo, woo, look at that meat. Uh, is, that, is that what you wanted? Look at that, look at that. Uh, the streak. I haven't learned the streak yet either. People have been asking me to do the streak. Uh, uh, oh, maybe they've just been asking me to do the streak. They want me to start bringing it back. To bring it back like cherry Coke. 
Yeah. I'm bringing the streak back like cherry coke. And that's what I'm going to yell as I run naked. And people are going to go, that guy needs, he, wow. We got to do something with that dude. It's not going to be me because he's, he could do anything. He's, talk, he's naked and talking about cherry coke. Where's my cherry coke? I'll put on clothes when I find a cherry coke. That's what I'll say. Okay. Um, Don't look, Apple. Yeah. Uh, okay, we had a bunch of requests. I'm just going to find the one I most want to do. You know, I haven't done Steel Driven Man in eons, and I did practice it once. I don't think I've performed it. I don't think I, have I performed on a stream yet, anyone know? I don't think I have. Okay, I'm going to do Steel Driven Man because I haven't done it yet. I don't think in any of these, uh, in any of these uh, streams. Steel Driven Man. This one's, uh, we did this one for about four or five years in the show, on and off. Had a bit of a, had a, bit of a run in our live shows. And then eventually just got pushed off the set list by younger, stronger, hungrier songs. <coughs> Songs have a hard time staying in the in the set list. It's okay. Let's see how this goes. So this should be the last song, I think. I think it's the last song. Yeah. Here we go. Boogadad, boogadad. Huh. I thought it was. Look at that. Look at that. Is is it boogadad, boogadad? Interesting. Boogadad, boogadad. Boogadad, boogadad. Okay, here we go. Oh, the Mississippi Squirrel Revival as well. Okay. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time this next couple of weeks. After that, I should have more time to learn more, uh, uh, more, more songs. There once was a time, but this is, I'm, I'm still relearning my own songs. So, you know, get in line. S streak, the stake. Who oh, is the girl at the stake? Here we go. Once was a time when the country was wild, a time before cars and planes and minivans. So to move things from one place to the other, the railroad was built. But it just didn't up and build itself. Nope, it was built by the railroad men. And among these men was a man among men 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 among men. A man as tall as the sky and as wide as the land. A man who could lay track faster than anyone else could run. A man with the strength of ten men. His name was John Henry. And I'm not going to sing about him. No, nope, I'm going to sing about a lesser known figure. One who doesn't deserve a song. A man as lazy as a thousand men. A man who could barely raise his own body off the ground. A man who was barely a man at all. His name was Mike McCormick. Mike McCormick was a steel driving man who never really gave a damn. Only thing he worked on was his tan. Mike McCormick was a steel driving man. Oh, he'd get up in the morning to hammer in spikes. Unless he'd been up drinking the previous night. Or if his bones weren't feeling right. Or if it looked like it was going to rain. He had a tendency of being late for work And everyone around thought he was a jerk He'd take long breaks and say his back was hurt Then he'd have a drink to ease the pain Mike McCormick was a steel driving man Who never really gave a damn Only thing he worked on was his tan Mike McCormick was a steel driving man Oh, forgot, there's a character bit here I'm gonna be a couple of characters here Mike, Mike, get up! What, what is it? Get up, it's time to go to work. Already? Why well, don't you want to hammer in them spikes? No. His arms are like twigs, his legs were like straws. His hands was like a baby's bum, they were so soft. He'd wheeze and moan and whine and cough. Then go home and have a little nap. He never got fired cause he was the boss's son He just hung around and bothered everyone Well he never drove a spike, not a single one Though every now and then he'd give a tap Ding! Mike McCormick was a steel driving man Who never really gave a damn Only thing he worked on was his tan Mike McCormick was a steel driving man Mike! 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 Uh, what is it? They say they got a big machine that they say can drive a nails faster than any man alive. 
Well, that sounds like a good idea. No, no, you don't understand. Yeah, it'll work faster. No, no, it's going to cost us all our jobs. You, Mac McCormick, you got to prove them wrong. Uh, okay. So he took his hammer and he hammered one time. Oh. He took his hammer and he hammered two times. Oh, jeez. He took his hammer and he hammered three times. Ow! Oh! Then he got crushed by a meteor and died. Mac McCormick was a steel driving man. He never really gave a damn. Only thing he worked on was his tan. Mac McCormick was a steel driving man. Everybody, Mac McCormick was a steel driving man. He never really gave a damn. Only thing he worked on was his tan. Mac McCormick was a steel driving man. Mac McCormick was a steel driving man. True story. True story, everybody. Oh, hey! Hey, hypothetically, Greg was singing the backups. Thank you. Oh, G and Terrell was helping. Torelli, man. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I wrote that one. I wasn't sure how to end it. As you might uh, tell by the lyrics, I was like, okay, well, this is kind of a story song. And then he does that, and then what happens? I had, uh, does he, does his dad get angry at him? Does he go have another drink? And it just occurred to me, the natural way to end any country song is, uh, a lot of country songs end with meteorites uh, striking the earth. So I just went with that old chestnut, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you never knew that you would grow to live, work with so many people like this. Yes, it's funny as a song. It's funny as a song. But when the boss's son is working with you, or just the guy who has imagined that. Yes, yes. Oh, I got some cheer from Peppermint Biscuit. Um, so there was a, that's another two-chord song, actually. That's just two chords. Man, I'm a talented songwriter. <laughs> That's the first chord. And then I go. That's the whole freaking song right there. I just taught you how to play Steel Driving Man. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so I guess that's mostly the show. Uh, I can still yammer for another minute or two if anyone has any last questions. Um, if your conscience is your conscience is tugging at you, saying I should really give that that poor man sitting in his coach house some more money just give into it it's a good it's good it's a good it's saying it's it's leading you to do the right thing leading you to the right thing um and uh, yeah if anyone knows where to get some cherry coke i'm kind of craving one now um but as i said it's part of the conspiracy so they're all gone now uh okay uh yeah well thank you carolyn for coming by do i have a favorite video game system finally if someone started asking some decent questions here no, sorry, it's not like your other questions were all crap. It's just some of them were. But uh, video game says, uh, I currently have a Switch. I like the Switch. Uh, I grew up in the era of the video game. I'm the video game kid. I had the home um, um, uh, uh, tennis. Remember the tennis game? The Pong. I had home Pong before the Atari system came out. That's how long I've been playing video games. Home Pong. And it was like so awesome. You had to plug it into your TV with a special connector. Uh, but it, it probably wasn't my favorite. I liked the Atari when it came out, but that was like, what was my favorite? My favorite. Then I played computer games for a while, so I missed the whole Nintendo thing. I was off the home game system. I really liked the first Atari system. I probably wouldn't like it as much now, but at the time it was like, it was like mind blowing. You could play Asteroids at home. That was just, I played that thing to death. And then you got the thing, you could get the cartridges and you could kind of put them in and out halfway. Right, remember that? And it would screw up the game. Sometimes the game would still play, but everything would be messed up and things. Yeah, and you can't really do that with the new games. Um, new game systems. I'm not sure what my favorite one. I have the. Um, what do we have? What, what, what was that one called? The, uh, the Nintendo. What was the previous Nintendo one with the the things you move around and. Uh, anyway, I like that one. I like that one too. Like that. Yeah, and the Switch is all right, but it's not as much fun. Uh, there's a store by your house that has all specialty Cokes. Oh, really? Huh. Including some of the mango Coke. Is that just somebody, like, making that in their basement? Like, taking Coke and squeezing some mangoes and then, like, like writing on with a marker mango over before Coke on the bottles? Hmm. Post-it notes on the PC, so I knew how to... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the DOS games. 
Oh, here we go. Peppermint Biscuit. Thank you very much. Wow, somebody is yeah, really in a generous mood today. That's awesome. Uh, look at that. There's all sorts of print going up on that screen there. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. Um, I think I'll end it soon. I'll, I'll wait to see if there's anything else in the chat. Uh, I missed last week. What did we learn about? We learned everything. Vartuzu. Vartuzu? Vartuzo. Vartuazo. Vartuzu. I'll call you Vartuzu. Uh, ColecoVision. Right. ColecoVision. Huh. Yeah, so we learned everything pretty much that you could about 1920s transportation. Uh, if, uh, Twitch keeps keeps the shows up for a little while. So you can look back uh, and see about the buses. Um, well, here, wait a second. I still got a bus. There we go. Here's a bus over here. Um, because you asked. Uh, here you go. There's bus. Uh, that, those are buses numbers uh, 321 to 329 um, of Artuzu. Uh, but only the uh, there were only uh, odd numbers. So there was a 321 of this bus, and then a 323, and a 327, and a 329. No even numbers. No even numbers. That's what they first started taking away from us before um, the Cherry Coke. I don't know if you've noticed there are no even numbers anymore. Look around you. Look around. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, so, yeah, and that was a 1928 bus. So that's a little taste. A little taste of what we learned last week. Yeah. Yeah, Just that's just a taster. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, streams last for two weeks. Uh, I think I can put them on the YouTube or something. Once again, I don't have much time at the moment, but I might... Once I get around to it, I'll see if I can upload the, the Sunday shows to the YouTube. Uh, so thanks, everyone. If you haven't followed me, please follow me. I got four shows a week. Got one tomorrow, 3 o'clock, where I kind of jam Roots Rocks, R Rudy Rocky, folky songs. Uh, and I do a new Tom Petty song every week. Not a, like a new one because he's dead and stuff, but I mean uh, one I haven't performed before is what I mean by that. I probably didn't need to clarify that. You probably understood what I, yeah, okay. Sometimes I over-clarify. Um, okay. Hypothetically, Greg, you got the last 10 minutes. You can watch the rest later. Yeah. Yeah. The TRS-80, I had that too. I had the TRS-80 as well. I had, my, my dad was in high tech, so I had all the early stuff. Uh, remember the cassette? Just you'd use cassette tapes to load up your stuff. That was awesome. Cassette tapes. Yeah, we had the TRS. Then we got the, Comm the Commodore, the first Commodore, and then the Commodore 64. We had those. Yeah, so awesome. Okay, so uh, yeah, I do four streams. Mondays at 3 p.m. Eastern, and then over the humps at noon Eastern. And you can, I'm not doing the math for you. Don't say, well, I live here. What time is that for me? You can do that work on your own, right? That's a little homework for you. And then the, uh, my big, the big one is the big uh, all request show Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All Eastern Standard Time. I should have just said that at the end. Okay, uh, well, thank you, everybody. I will see you all later. You guys have a great afternoon or whatever. You're not, some you know, you're, most of you are still in the morning. Okay. You still have it? You still have your C64? Oh, wow. Huh. Awesome. Yeah, I should put them on YouTube. It's just my laziness and lack of time. It probably takes like two minutes. <sighs> this tech stuff just doesn't, it's not nat like it's not, it doesn't just come to me naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wave bye to everyone, and then I'm going to press the end stream button. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.